after the 2009-2010 H1N1 vaccination campaign, um, one of the big gaps that we realized was this lack of robust community outreach. It was really obvious this is a gap that we need to fill and we could fill. The name of the project is ECHO and that stands for Electronic Communications for Health Organizations. And what we wanted to do was create a very easy to use data collection program for our staff so that they could be in the field using uh, electronic means of capturing and transmitting the data so we could see it in real time back at our offices so we could make some decisions about what to do in the community when there is another pandemic. We had worked with um, Instead's GeoChat tool for a long time. Um, we had always realized that collecting SMS data in the field uh, is, is valuable, not, not only during an emergency, but, but we believe it's valuable for public health researchers. We had used it uh, internally at the agency to document locations of alcohol advertisements. Mm -hmm. We had used it to try and identify locations of fresh fruits and vegetables, and we realized that these tools could be deployed to uh, local communities and organizations um, and thereby let them tell us something about their community that we wouldn't otherwise know. It's a real opportunity for us to begin gathering data from the ground up. There's a, a tool that exists called Open Data Kit, which is a really easy survey building and data collection tool. So I thought, you know, maybe we can build off of that, which instead was, uh, you know, very willing to do. We only had about a six month timeline uh, to develop all of this and train people. And uh, in the world of government and IT projects, that is uh, you know, a very, very short amount of time. Instead has been really great helping us push this through, helping us with the paperwork and the technological diagrams and things that we need to justify this project to our own agency. I think the advantage of a tool like this is because it's survey based, um, clearly there's, there's many opportunities within public health for surveying uh, the general public. So, so realistically, I think that this tool could be used for essentially any program that needs to collect and document data um, on either a large or a small scale. It's cheaper, it's more efficient, people feel comfortable using it. So that's very exciting. <laughs>